There's been multiple rumors. It seems that now it more or less is confirmed due to uh, leaked images and blurry images uh, from a source that is yet to be determined. So hopefully this is legit. Uh, although, okay, I'm reading here. It's also from Weibo. So China again. Whoa. China. Um, so we have a masterpiece movie barricade coming. The MPM-5 barricade. Uh, that is rumored that's going to be a Toys R Us exclusive in the future, much like the Optimus Prime and the Bumblebee has been up to this point, which also will probably give you an idea of price point if you look at the Bumblebee. Um, the images show so far uh, what looks like more or less the, the final CAD photos of a barricade. It looks like there's, there's people that are uh, messing with the image to, to show that certain areas, like the what I like to call the fake transformation chests, right? Like people are pointing out how, like, because people took the images and then broke down the images, going like, okay, uh, you know, this piece of the chest is not going to actually make the legit chest of the toy and stuff. Now we we got a pretty good, I mean, Barricade as a character had a lot of releases. I mean, yeah. he was he was that first quintessential evil car from the Decepticon side when that first 2007 movie came out. And, you know, he, he got that first deluxe release, then he got the, the premium, or excuse me, the platinum release, which had the, the better paint scheme on it, but still that same deluxe car, and then that thing got repainted to death. And then, you know, you go along, and of course he had all those those lackluster different price points of Legends and, and, uh, and uh, all the different gimmicky points. And then you had jump forward, you jump forward, and then we got um, a Human Alliance barricade, that was pretty good, pretty good. It wasn't like, you know, perfect, but it was a pretty good barricade toy. And a lot of those Human Alliance toys, the Jazz too, a lot of those were pretty yeah. darn good. But, I mean, in the same way, like, I used to I used to shout the praises of that, the, the movie Bumblebee Human Alliance. And then that Masterpiece one recently came out, and I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> okay, I guess maybe that is the new best Bumblebee ever. So... Yeah. I'm kind of thinking if if the Bumblebee was any indication, this barricade might be absolutely awesome. The only thing that we don't really know, um, it shows that he's he's going to have his his pinwheel of death gimmick that he had uh, in the movie, where he just had this rotor blade thing that his hands kind of turned to. The only thing we yeah. don't know from images is I've yeah I, I don't see a frenzy here, at all. Mm. There's no indication of that. Although I wouldn't be surprised if they do ultimately in the end have something. Right. But I mean, so far it looks great. Looks great. I mean, we have some weird images. Some of them are blurry. Some of them are not blurry. Some of them have like you know all kinds of like notes on them, which are explaining like colors. I'm and... I'm a little bit confused by this. Um, the way his silhouette looks in alt mode, it really, 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 really smacks of sideways from uh, Revenge of the Fallen. That toy, the um, the R4. Mm-hmm. The Audi R4, like just the. I think it was like, an R8. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. R8. Thanks. So yeah. just just the way it looks, and the way it stands, and the way the 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 two little door slits go up and everything, like it. I'm just getting that vibe super super hard. I see what you mean with the similarity of the uh, the the doors for the rear and how then, they and they the slit feet, up and then the face, like I'm. <laughs> no, I told like, I totally see what you mean. Like completely with certain. I think. You know what? And the funny thing is, too, is like you get that a lot more, especially with the animation model of uh, of sideways. Mm. Like the the animation model sideways, especially like look where the wheels go. Yeah. With the toy, where it goes into the hands. Yeah. And the exactly. anim and the animation model of sideways mm -hmm. in Revenge of the Fallen. Again, people just kind of Google image it if you want. Oh, uh, you know, I'll post it in the. Uh, I'll post it in the see and the image and too. even and even in the wiki. Guess what? I'm not barricade. Had you all food, didn't I? Ah, so I, you're not the first <laughs> to think it then. Exactly. So, like I'm just so looking at looking you know what at that this. then you know what that tells you that then there's you know as expensive as this price point is and stuff maybe a potential repaint down the line or exactly. a repaint retool. retool. So you know making making some some mileage out of these uh, these MPM designs, but yeah, it it looks and, great. And, and to be honest, I really, really like that uh, deluxe class sideways. I really liked it a lot. That's gonna I be liked, so. If if this does end up becoming a retool, 
of Sideways in the future, I think I would hold off and buy that personally. That's just that's going to be an interesting reshelling. But then again, yeah. if if a lot of it is in the same places, I could see it happening. You know, because obviously the R8 uh, Audi is a lot rounder than the the Mustang here, this Shelby Mustang. Yeah. Um. So, hmm. I don't know. Uh. But <laughs> but either but no, it's a good observation though. There's the the, the similarities are quite uncanny. So, yeah. really makes you think. But uh, yeah, bar- like <laughs> Barricade is one of the. Um, I feel he's one of the few um, movie transformers, like made specifically for the movie. That's been getting, that's always been getting a lot of love, and I think maybe because Ford is just um, definitely willing to have that iconic Mustang car out there, and you know more nicer with the licensing comparatively to other maybe other car brands. And Barricade just gets so much love, and I'm you know I'm happy for him. You know, you know what? And of... and I find that and, and 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 a and a Decepticon that's not labeled as um, Megatron or or Starscream, like it's completely other character. You know what I well, mean? Well, not not to mention it's like so so you have Barricade. Here's yeah. a character number one that if you looked at like his name origins, he was a MicroMaster that was like a blue Formula One that no one cared about. Then right. he would then he was just. A name throw because they also had the name from Cops, who was a yeah, character exactly, called Barricade. Exactly. So then they just they're like, well, we got this name Barricade that's still kicking around from the MicroMaster and the Cops line. Eh, throw it on an Energon toy, the one that should technically be Onslaught, right? <laughs> so they just throw it on Barricade on that, and then they throw it on this character. And what's crazy about this character, and I always found this fascinating, in the original script he was supposed to die in the first movie. In the comic book version, he does die. You see his head go flying off of his body. Optimus Prime kills him. In the movie itself, we never see him die. He just kind of disappears, right? Then he's not in the second movie. He appears in the third movie, Mm -hmm. and we see him get killed by Bumblebee. But guess who comes back in the fifth movie? Barricade. <laughs> he's not as like we literally saw him get killed, but yet he still came back. Yeah. So and 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 he didn't die in the fifth movie. A lot of people got a lot of Decepticons got killed really quickly in that fifth movie. Oh yeah, they get introduced and murked. Yeah, they get introduced <laughs> and then totally wrecked. In, and yet Barricade still got away. So there's someone behind the scenes that's not letting this guy die. Yeah. You know, not and letting might, this dude more die. More power to them, to be very honest. More power to them. Oh no, he was he was one of like when that first movie came out, he was the guy that I was kind of really behind. And not to mention, uh, in the video game version, he was voiced by Keith David. Oh so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had a really cool voice in the video game version. I was I was just telling somebody um, they should definitely put uh, his logo on it on the police car to enslave and to control. Yeah. On to punish t-shirts. and enslave. To, to punish, punish and, enslave. and enslave. So, like, you put that on the front, and it says police. And if someone comes up to you and gets mad at you, it's like, no, no, it's from Transformers. And you turn around, and there's a big giant uh, Decepticon logo on your back. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it, again, it's that was a character I always really got behind. Keith David did an amazing voice acting job in those video games, especially the p- play the the DS one. I know mm-hmm. that sounds crazy, a DS game with amazing voice acting, but Keith Dav- David did a great job in that, and. I was actually, because I played the game before the movie came out. It came out, like I think, like three weeks before the movie debuted. And when I went and saw the movie in theater, I was actually disappointed when yeah. Barricade transformed. As much as everyone was freaking out in the theater, because that was like the first big transformation, oh, yeah, Barricade yeah. transforms, slams his foot down, are you user or ladies man set, oh, two, set, 217. <laughs> and I, everyone's freaking out going, oh my God, I'm going, oh, it's not Keith David. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Like I was actually disappointed that it wasn't that voice actor because he do, he has a very good voice. He has a good voice for voice acting. So yeah, he's been voice acting for some time. But yeah, um, I'm I'm excited for this, and I'm excited to see if they try to do a remold or uh, um, a retool. 